So judging by the title of this video, we got some mad explaining to do because this boy is now officially sad boy for the third time. <laughs> Dude, and the funny part is, like that car was like crashed like twice before I even owned it, so like it's just bad luck. That silver IS is bad luck, so as you can probably see here, as you probably saw by the thumbnail, that the IS is Ripperino. Here, hold this so I can focus. The IS is Ripperino'd again. Oh my god, this camera does not focus. Oh, I got it. Oh my. Uh, it's just pretty bad, honestly, and there's another picture right here. This will probably be the thumbnail. Um, basically, the front bumper's gone, fender's gone. I didn't list it, dude. It's $6,000 of damage, that's all you need to know. Six, yeah, it's just fucked, so. And like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it just. Colin, is, Colin was not at fault for this. Some lady literally just cut him off hardcore, merging on the freeway, and. Yeah, it's kind of like complicated and hard to explain, but basically like, uh, she had to like yield to cross lanes of traffic to get on the freeway, and I was going the other way, and she didn't stop at all, and like, I tried to like avoid it, but I just hit her like hard. And then like, I'm like, oh shit, I hit her. And then she just kept driving onto the freeway. <laughs> and I chased her in my crashed car. My fender's like digging into my tire. And I'm like honking the horn for miles. She didn't pull over. And uh, then I like corded my tire. And you just like had to pull over. And I had to like pull over. Just done. And then I had to get like a police report and like everything. I had to get like a, another tire from the tire shop I was at. Like I was leaving the tire shop. And um, I get another tire just so I could drive it home. And then now, I, ha I like my insurance called me because they, they found her from her like license plate because I took a picture of her license plate to give to the police and insurance. Yeah. And now she's like, oh yeah. Or like they told me that her insurance is like denying like liability, so fault, and denying the fact that it was a hit and run. I'm like, yeah, good luck with that one, dude. Of course. Like, pretty sure that's not, you're not gonna get away with that. So to answer the question, just get it over with. Yes, the car is going to be totaled. But I am going to buy it back and pretty much get... Because I, that car realistically probably has $5,000 of important things on it that I need still. If so, not, maybe even more money. Yeah, I mean, it's got to fully refresh everything in the drivetrain. Uh, coilovers, suspension arms, wheels, exhaust. In, like you know it, everything. Things, yeah. Everything. But... So, with every sad story, sad side of a story, there's a good side of the story. So, we cop to this bad boy. <laughs> oh, damn, what do you know? Stock boys. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, it's a 2002? Yeah, 2002. My silver one was 04, but like, literally the only difference between 02 and 04, or like 0203 and 0405 is like, they had the option for like GPS. And then I think like a couple small things, like the radio, I don't know, it just like super So it's like the same car basically. Yeah, same engine, same everything, like they didn't change a single thing in that aspect, or like body and stuff. Um, but this is what I got, because I basically, after having the silver one, I kind of didn't really want another silver one. And just because like, literally every IS300 is silver, and that's fine, like obviously I loved how mine looked, but if I'm like forced to get another car, I don't really want to get the exact same car. So I wanted to look for like a dark gray one, the galaxy gray pearl or whatever I think it's called, mm -hmm. and then, um, or black. And I found a gray one, dark gray, and it was just not in good shape. And then I, there's two black ones, and then this was like the better black one I found. Um, so. Yeah, and it has like. Yeah, the paint is not great. <laughs> the paint is not good, but that's always the case with black Toyota cars. Is a, my truck's a great example of this that. Is, this has been parked outside its entire life. And the guy who had it worked in like construction and this is like just, I don't even know what he drove through, dude. He probably drove through every construction site, like rally cross style. Like it's pretty bad, but I am planning on the future to repaint it. Uh, it won't cost that much money because I'm not changing the color. I would just do black again. And like, you don't have to do like the door jams or the engine bay or anything. Yeah. So you just respray like the hood and fenders and all that. Um, but that's the only like real negative. Yeah, like everything else, like look, headlights are perfectly, like the fog lights are perfect, like. Well, don't show the cracked front bumper, but. <laughs> I mean, obviously <laughs> yeah. with an old car, there's gonna be like 
But the thing interior is, is like mint, like as heck. We already, you already know we got this floor mat. Yeah, back I pretty in. much transferred everything back in already. Here, hold on. It's Here. clean as Where's hell. My keys? Let's show them the most important thing. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the radio's broken, so uh, that's annoying. But <laughs> only has 127,000 original miles, which, if you know Lexus IS300s, uh, sorry, it. yeah, here, take it, take it. Uh, 127,000 is low <laughs> for one of these. Um, it's just basically like the second owner, I think he was, got it from the first owner. It's just all stock, not tampered with at all, at, like at all. And um, yeah, like put it in perspective, my IS300 had 100,000 miles more than that. Yeah. More than that, more than 100,000. This thing is like gonna be a nice car is going to be have less problems hopefully <laughs> look at this look at this this is what i'm shocked about this is always mucked up on is 300s I and it's swear. a little bad but not nearly as bad oh yeah yeah it's like clean mm -hmm. and then the one one real mod to this car it's got this axle back on it what is it it's like hks something i don't know dragger i think uh, is that yeah the hks dragger axle back yeah. It doesn't really like change a lot, but whatever. At least that's cool. It's like a $350 axle back that I'd have to pay for, so. Mm-hmm. So, basically the plan with it is to sl slowly swap things over from his old car to this one, yep. because the other one's just ripper renoed. In a picture, it doesn't look that bad. It looks like, oh, dude, just like fix it. But like, oh, okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, it's... <laughs> Yeah, it's bad, like, it got into the engine bay, the frame, and just everything like that, and... Replace, you're gonna have to really replace the core support for like the third time, like... Yeah, it's not even just the upper core support, it's like the lower, like, tie bar and everything, like... What insurance values your, values your car, no matter how rare it is, is usually not that much, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, and, unless you want to pay like a lot each month, or like, I don't know, but... Uh, yeah, it's just, they pretty much won't repair it if it's, typically the rule of thumb is like 80% of the value of the car. Yeah. And so if they're valuing my car only at like $5,000, even though it's manual and rare and has all these parts, I know, like, but it was like $6,000 of damage. So that's way over and you pretty much, and especially since it wasn't my fault. Like if that was something like where it was my fault, like if I was like drifting and I crashed it, yeah. I probably would like want to fix it or something because like it was my fault and I'm gonna have to pay for that. But since this lady caused all the damage, I'm gonna milk her for every penny she has because she's the worst human being I've ever seen. Uh, so yeah, I just, we're gonna probably total it out. I mean, I already bought this, so yeah, it's just how it's gonna be. So, bright side, we got lots of content coming. Yeah, hey, if you guys ever want to know how to install coilovers, <laughs> like, I'm gonna have to redo everything, so. Actually, this is a great time. Uh, drop a comment on what installs you want to see, what you want to learn, because uh, we might be able to do a, a how-to on a couple of these because we've done a lot of installs now. Yeah. We have never really done how-to installs, but I mean, why not? And uh, this is a good time, so drop a comment on like what installs you want to see. But yeah, bright side, lots of content, but on the downside, we're back in school now. Yeah, we're screwed with we're school again. <laughs> we didn't even upload that much over winter break. It was just like really weird. Um, oh yeah, like just this happened and like, I, I don't know. It's... So yeah, downside is school. We won't be able to upload that much, but please drop a comment on what you want to see and follow the Absolute Trash Instagram. We post more on there than on here. Uh oh, Mustang. Watch out, boys. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. Get back, get back. Oh, shit. Wait, shit. protect the car, protect the car. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So, like, I don't know. It, it'll, it'll come together. Yeah. But right now, it's just completely stock. Pretty much. Well, I, okay, axle back. But that's every single other thing in this entire car is stock. It even has, like, all the under panels and everything. Like, that hasn't even been touched. The frame rails, like, I mean, the pinch welds for, like, where you jack up cars haven't even been touched. Yep. And it is factory LSD. Uh, oh, so that, that probably locks up a little better, huh? Well, yeah. I mean, you probably haven't really tried it, but... Uh, I tried it once. I just, like, dumped the clutch and it, oh, damn. it was good. But, 
Oh, it has like new tires too, so that's good. It's like, okay, since I'm back in school, I just needed a car. And it's almost better that it's stock because it probably will have a lot less issues. And slowly I want to, you know, get parts off my other car and transfer them, but uh, I don't know. Yeah. It's probably going to take a long time, guys. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's going to take a Tim's minute. Tim's car is going to be turbo before I probably even get my coilovers on. Yeah, quick quick update. Car is on Mega Squirt. Uh, I got the intercooler mounted. I'll show you that really quick. We got that Mishimoto in here, boys. Any cry, can't even see it. There we go. Hell yeah. Got that Mishimoto in there. And I got tons of parts for this thing right now. I got more intercooler piping over there I gotta install. I got a cast iron manifold. So I literally only need only need a downpipe, oil and water lines. And the actual turbo itself. So this will be parts wise. I'm really close to it, but uh, I haven't really been filming it because no one really watches Miata content that much. <laughs> Especially like the majority of our subscribers are IS300 owners. But we'll film more when it's boosted, just to be fair to you guys. But uh, it's almost done parts wise. I just don't have the time to actually install parts. Um, I got injectors. I have everything, dude. Yep. So anyways, we're gonna take Colin's car for a quick spin and we'll probably wrap the video up after that. So yeah. I wish we could just be like full-time YouTube or whatever and like, oh yeah, hey guys, I'm new car stuff every day. But like, dude. Yeah. We... It's hard for us, bro. Yeah. It's just with school and life and everything. Yep. It's like not time. Uh, that's a cop. All right. <laughs> So far, like the car just feels like really smooth. It's probably like how the car should feel. Right, how they should feel. <laughs> we fuck up cars. Uh, and the red light got us. Oh yeah, it's just a normal car basically. Shifts smooth. <laughs> Shifts smooth. I cannot talk right now. feels a little bit more slow yeah. without the intake and the headers on and all that other jazz. But yeah, so uh, get excited for this. I hope the wind noise didn't ruin that. No, nah, I probably... Oh, hold on. Oh my, my god. Okay. <laughs> that wind noise. Uh, I don't know if the wind noise screwed that up. I'm just going to say that. Like, the car just feels really smooth and it overall feels a little bit slower just because it doesn't have like the other mods on it like the other one yeah honestly like I'm not trying to be like a riser but yeah no the cold air intake and full exhaust like headers and everything you can feel it a little bit more pep out of it so yeah it's like true um so get excited for more content but uh <laughs> i don't know when the next upload's gonna be i'm really sorry guys like i will catch you guys in uh june so, uh... <laughs> pretty much <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna try to like We'll try to get at least get one upload up. And also, watch, like, honestly. we have like 1,100 something subs now, and we have like our thousand sub video that like is still being edited. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what? <laughs> Should I just put it in this video? No, 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 no. Separate. No. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm just gonna do that burnout video separate. It's just like a thousand subscriber burnout video. Just a quick burnout Colin did in the in the silver IS. So. uh I should upload that too. But uh, thanks for watching the video. Subscribe, and we'll see you later. Make sure to follow the Instagram too. Follow the Instagram, we'll post more on there. All It'll right. be in the description. Description, and I'll put it like here. So. <laughs> Dude, hold on, you hear my straight pipe, Doc? I don't think that, I don't, <laughs> I don't think that'll pick it up. This is like revved into red line. <laughs> Uh, okay. uh, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you later.